Look, my avatar is back again. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Welcome to my second 3D model tutorial. In here, we will be going over the most annoying process I've ever been through, and that is the Facebook, <laughs> Facebook, the face rig <laughs> importation. Before I begin, I would like to give a shout out to Ghost Cabot for helping me figure out how to do this. Go commission him if you don't want to make your own because his work is amazing. He only requires a $7 million down payment because this process is agonizing. Anyway, the good news is that if you have a 3D model already, you can rig it for face rig using this series. If you do not have a model, go ahead and watch the VR chat tutorials where I show you how to actually make the avatar. For this series, I'm assuming you already have the avatar made and rigged for VR chat. To begin with this, you'll need face rig. You can purchase it from Steam for $15 if you're using it for personal stuff, but if you plan on making money with your face rig avatar, you'll need to purchase a higher license. They have descriptions of what each one covers on the Steam page. Next, you'll need Blender and the Cats plugin. If you don't have either of those, then watch VR Chat Part 1 to get them downloaded and installed. We do not need Unity for face rig, so ignore that unless your model is a Unity package and needs to be unpacked to get the FBX out. We also want a dedicated model folder to use for uploading to FaceRig. Pick a spot on your hard drive that's easy to find and create a folder. Then save your FBX or blend file in there. Don't forget, it's a good idea to have this folder backed up if you mess up something later on. Next, you'll want to open the FaceRig import documentation since it has info you'll be using to make the rigging. You'll find it by going into your Steam folder and finding the FaceRig folder. It will probably be under Steam Apps and Common. Next, go to Bin. Tools, Docs, and click the Importer PDF to open it. Feel free to copy this as well as the other two PDFs to the model folder you created so that they are easy to find. The other thing we will eventually be using is the Model Importer. Go back one folder and open the Import Wizard folder. Right click on the Import Wizard EXE and click to create a shortcut. Then move this shortcut to your model folder. It also wouldn't be a bad idea to create a shortcut to your Steam FaceRig folder and also put it in there. At this point, we are now ready to get started on our model, so open up Blender and import the FBX model we want to use, or the blend file if you already have one. And I will see you in part two.